All right, so we've been talking about lead generation. I'm going to put together my top 10 lead generation strategies. And this is another one I wanted to talk about today, and that's door knocking. It's not it's not the end of the world. Uh, a lot of people do it. A lot of people make a lot of money door knocking, and you can too, because there's a lot of agents out there that don't want to door knock. And so if you're the agent that's out there door knocking, uh, then your competition is a lot lower, right? So we, I think last week uh, we talked about direct mail. It's a similar strategy. You know, we're reaching out to a neighborhood or something, but this is actually uh, on the ground out there in the heat and snow and the rain and the pretty and the pretty days knocking on doors and introducing yourself to people with the goal of um, of getting their contact information and introducing yourself and they saying yes hi and you know, well can i stay in touch and you say yes that's sort of the goal here so uh let's see it's a time consuming thing to do right that's the uh that's the downside probably of door knocking is that you have to really commit to many hours of door knocking if this is going to be your door knocking strategy. So um, you have to really have a lot of intention. If you're going to spend that much time doing it, you just can't half ass this shit. You got to really get in there and have a plan and be good at door knocking. And that, that involves. All right, I'm going to say the word scripts, but I don't want you to have a script. There is a, a thing that you want to say, but I don't want you to have a script because you're going to sound like an idiot. You know, you don't want to do that. Hello, my name is Jay. I'm a real estate agent. How are you? Um, I am a real estate agent at so-and-so and I live down. You know, we just got to be very fluid and just you're just trying to make a friend. You're saying, hey, I'm in the neighborhood. And this is who I am. And I'm a good guy and you're a good guy and you're a good person. Let's see if we can have a relationship over time. That's, that's what you're trying to do. So you got to be very, very intentional about it if you're going to spend that much time doing it. It's inexpensive. Uh, not doesn't cost really anything to do door knocking. Now you can add uh, expense to it, right? You can hand something out, for example, and you can hand out some very expensive things if you want to, that's up to you, but you don't have to. Um, maybe just your business card, maybe uh, maybe just a postcard with some value on it that you're handing out that day. You know, the, um, the um, uh, silly, I don't do this, but a lot of people, a lot of agents do it. Um, you know, the schedule of the football team, you know, in, in Kansas City, I'd be handing out the chief schedule. It was time for that. But so many people are doing it. I'm not sure that's a great strategy. But I think I mentioned in the um, in the direct mail uh, lead generation video that I did, uh, one of the things I hand out is a schedule of the concerts that are happening in our neighborhood parks. That, that would be a good thing, good piece of value. So there's some expense there if you want to. You can print something and, and uh, hand it out or take a gift, you know, if it's if it's uh, fall or something, you take a little pumpkin or something, you know, it's a couple of bucks, four bucks, maybe and hand everybody a pumpkin as you walk. Again, uh, just throwing out ideas. I'm not saying that's a good thing to do because carrying around a bunch of pumpkins as you're walking around the street isn't the easiest thing to do either. But you put all that together. You take what I'm telling you and you figure out how you're going to do it. Um, but it doesn't have to be very expensive. I don't want you to have a script. I want you to be you. And that's why I'm going to give you a couple of things to say here in a minute. But but um, I want it to come from your heart. I want you to say, what would what would I want people to say to me if they were knocking on my door? You've got to kind of put up the language and the, the first 10 seconds of how to get their attention. That's sort of a personal thing for you. And I want you to I want you to come up with that. So I don't want you to really think of uh, of a script and stick to it. I want you to more think of here's my goal and I'm just going to go be a good person and talk to this neighbor of mine. That's what you're that's what you're going to do. Uh, speaking of neighbors, uh, you need to pick the right neighborhood. I made this point with the uh, direct mail thing as well is you don't want to go knocking a neighborhood that no houses are ever going to sell in. So you go to the MLS and you find the neighborhood that you want to work in and you see if there's some turnover there. You know, you need to see if some number of houses are selling there every year, you know, 10%. So if there's 600 houses in the neighborhood, you want to see 60 of them sold. Otherwise, I'm not going to spend my time knocking on those doors. Only three houses are going to sell every year. I can't make a living. I can't feed my family. And so I'm not going to uh, to door knock that neighborhood. So be careful. Pick the one that you want to use. Um, you don't have to actually pick a specific neighborhood, though, if you don't want to. Um, you can do what's called circle prospecting. And so when you get a listing, for example, you might put uh, a flyer together or a postcard together about your listing and about the fact that you're having an open house soon. And then you can knock the doors around wherever you're having that open house. Hey, I'm Jay Swearing. Just wanted to invite you 
to uh, the open house that we're having. A lot of times neighbors don't want to come to my open houses. They feel like they're looky-loos or something. Hell no, I want you to come. You might know somebody that wants to move into this neighborhood. In fact, we're having an open house for you that's um, 30 minutes before everybody else just for the neighbors to come say hello and goodbye to uh, you know Rick and Kathy. And then uh, it's just for you neighbors and then we're gonna open it up to everybody uh, 30 minutes later or something. So I wanted you to come, wanted you to have this. Please feel free, invite some friends, come see the house and then you're gonna walk away. And then just as you walk away, you come back and you go, oh, by the way, how, how long have uh, how long have you been living in the neighborhood? Maybe that's a good, a good topic. Um, how long have you been living here? Oh, we've been here about uh, seven years, eight years or something. And now I'm thinking, hmm, I know houses sell about every seven or eight years. So they, these people might be on the verge. So where would you go if you, I know you're not moving, but if you had to move, where would you guys go? Oh, I think we're going to, you know, when the kids graduate from high school, we're probably going to move back to Tucumcari, New Mexico, where my wife is from. And we're probably going to, you know, uh, retire out there. Oh, great. Well, how old are your kids? I've got a, I've got a junior and a senior. Okay. Now we just got a couple of years. Well, listen, I'm a real estate agent. Let's stay in touch. Sure. Jay, I'd love to. Right. So that's, that's the idea of door knocking is to go with some value and then try to encourage them to have a conversation with you, hopefully uh, about real estate. And so that's one example of a thousand examples that I've heard and that I've used to engage people uh, on the doorstep. How long have you lived here um, is a good one. But the goal here, of course, is to get them to know you and to like you and to trust you. And you don't have very long to get that done, right? They don't, you think they, they want to stand up there and talk to you? Not very many people do, right? My wife does. Anybody knocks on the door, she'll go out there and talk to them forever because she just likes it. I'm proud of you for knocking on my door. You know, she, you're out there in the heat. Oh, by God, I'll sit here and talk to you as long as you want to. She's that kind of person. Not a lot of people are, right? Not a lot of people are ding dong. And most people like hide behind the couch and get down. Wait, it's a guy knocking on the door. What's going on? There's a world coming to an end. And so you're, you're, you're going to, you're going to get some of that. And so, um, as they come to the door, they, Hey, they're not, they're not in a mood to talk to you. So you got to be super smiley and fun and happy and hi, and this is me. And this is why I'm here. And, and I'm not here to bother you. I'm here to give you some good news, give you some, some value, give you some, whatever. Right. So you've got to be you, you got to turn on that charm. And in a very short amount of time, uh, get the, get their guard down so that they're just talking to you uh, as a human being, not as some sort of a as a salesman, as a as a neighbor, as a friend, as a you know a valuable, um, uh, uh, respected um, professional in your in your real estate world. Right, that's where you're trying to get to. And you, yeah, man, you got to be smart. I mean, you got to be quick. You also have to be smart. You have to be friendly, but you have to be smart too. So you need to prepare for those door knocks. You want to anticipate what they are going to say to you, and you better have an answer to what they're going to ask, right? You better know the houses that have sold around the neighborhood lately. You better know the, the prices of the houses. Uh, what's a three-bedroom, two-bath pulling in at that house in that neighborhood? Uh, are pools prolific or are they not? Um, you know, whatever you think they may be questions they may be asking you, you cannot say, I don't know, I'll look into that for you, because then you're not, you're not smart, and you've got to be smart. You've got to be smart on that doorstep. Don't let them trick you in, or don't let them uh, stump you asking a question uh, that you don't know. So friendly and, and smart and fun. Just be fun. Be, be a nice, fun to be around, smiling, happy person, you know? Um, and, don't, and don't take it personally when they are not, right? <laughs> because very often I'll get people, wait, hey, don't you see this sign that says no soliciting? You get off my, yeah, I'm all right, man. I'm sorry to bother you. I'm out see you. And I'm not going to let that bother me. I'm going to let that stop me from knocking on the deck next door. Cause I'm going to get some people like that. They're just, uh, you know, they just, they're just not fun and there's not no way you're going to convince them to be fun. And so reach, reach out to them some other way and get the hell off their porch. Cause that's where they want you to be. And so let's do that. What else? Uh, the goal, as you, as I said, the goal isn't to find a house to sell today. I mean, that'd be great, right? If you're knocking on doors and somebody goes, well, Oh my God, we just woke up this morning and said, let's sell our house. We need to talk to an agent. And here you are knocking on our door. That is just amazing to me. That would be, that would just be stellar, but it's not going to happen. Not, I mean, maybe if you knock on a hundred thousand doors, that's going to happen a couple of times. But in general, the goal is not to find a client today. The goal is to build a relationship with another human being, homeowner in the neighborhood that you're knocking, that you can build on 
long term, right? So hopefully at the end of the conversation, well, listen, I don't, I don't want to be a pushy real estate agent and I'm not one. I'm a good real estate agent. And at some point you might need a real estate agent or you might know somebody that needs a good real estate agent. And I want to apply for that job. Is it okay if you and I stay in touch from time to time? If there's some cool real estate news in the neighborhood, I think you need to know, I'll send it to you. I'm not going to I'm not going to inundate you, but here's my card. Do you have one? And we're going to swap information. And that's the goal of door knocking is just building the beginnings of a relationship that you're going to have for a very long time with that person. Once you've gotten their card and you've knocked on their door, then you're going to stay in touch with them with real value, with real content, with, with a reason to stop by. Now that's when you can actually bring them the pumpkin, right? Make a, make a day of bringing the pumpkin where you can drag it around. And I do this, (laughs) I do this every year. Uh, go rent a U-Haul and fill it full of pumpkins and uh, drive around and actually deliver pumpkins to all these people that you made contact with. And you're also going to have a little tag on the pumpkin that's going to say something clever about about Halloween or fall and you and real estate. And, you know, uh, don't let this uh, real estate market scare you. I'm your best realist or whatever, you know, say something entertaining so that when they get the pumpkin, they go, oh, it's from Jay. What a, what a hell of a nice guy. And so that's that's the idea, not to sell a house today, but to start building a relationship um, today. Or if you're knocking on doors around your open house, then it's to encourage people to come to the open house. But even then, you're probably not going to sell a house to that person. They're just going to come to the open house and they're going to see you do a stellar open house. In fact, we've got a video on open houses. Go look at that. And they're going to see you do a stellar open house. And they're like, man, this guy is good. And then, hey, let's swap cards. That's where you start building that relationship with them. So that if they need you or if they know somebody that needs you, um, um, then 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 you're ready for that. And uh, you've been there and they know you and they like you and they trust you and they have your contact information. And they go, oh, my gosh, you really got to call Steve or Jim or Carol or whoever's watching this video. That's what you need to do. So that's what I would do uh, on on uh, on door knocking. Um, spend some time getting really good at it. If you if you want to if this group wants to spend some time on on real live, not real live, but uh, good quality scripts and, and, and conversations that we like to have at the door. And then we can do that too. comment down below on this on this uh, video and say, yeah, let's talk more about how to do good quality door knocking. I'll go into some more detail about all those. But I uh, wanted to give everybody at least a little bit of, a, of, a, of an understanding of a bunch of different lead gener- generation strategies that work. And uh, this is one of them, buddy, it works. You, if you're out there knocking on doors a lot, uh, that will work especially if it's like uh, really cold and raining and you knock on the door, they're proud of you. Like, Oh my gosh, what are you doing out knocking on doors and weather like this is because I'm committed to my job and I'm committed to you. That's the way you do it. All right. So door knocking, go do it. Um, you don't have to do all 10 of these, by the way, I'm going to give you 10 lead generation strategies and there's probably 20 good ones and uh, you don't have to do them all. You know, you just need to pick two or three and just be better than anybody else in the whole world at doing it. And so if door knocking is your thing, do that and we'll have a conversation later about how to do it really really well all right we'll talk to you later see you later (laughs) we'll talk to you later see you soon